Hey everyone, this is Sajjot here and welcome to Unbounce Hacks. In this video, we'll be talking about adding a custom font in your landing page. Isn't it really important sometimes to have your own brand fonts in your landing page? Google fonts are really great, but it doesn't always serve the purpose. Like, you know that you can add Google fonts from here in your landing pages, but sometimes you just need your own specific fonts for your brand. As you may know, we don't have any option to upload our custom fonts in Unbounce yet. So we'll do that with the help of some CSS, which is going to be a piece of cake to implement. Let's see what we need in order to make it work. To add your custom font in the landing page, all you need is CDN, which is Content Delivery Network. You can use Amazon S3 or Mac CDN, or you can use your own hosting space to upload your font file. You need CSS code to import the font that you'd like to use for your landing page. And if you are willing to use your own hosting space, then you will also have to update your htaccess file. So let's see how we can make it work with everything we have with us. Let's see how it looks once we have added the code in our Unbounce page. So if you see it just looks like a normal font, even if you check it out, you'll see normal font is Arial. But if we look at the preview window here, then you'll see it's showing some another font that I have added in my landing page. So here you can see that. This is the font which is actually showing up in the preview and the live version of the web page. So let's see how we can implement that. So now we know how it will look once we add our CSS into the landing page and how custom font will show up. So let's try to do that one more time here with a new text element. We need this text element over here so I'll put it there and then I'll show you once we open this file currently it will just show the normal font which is used by default in the landing page. This one is using the custom font. So let's make this one this text with the custom font as well so now all we need is the ID of this text element that you can take from here we usually get the ID of any element in unbounce from here so copy that I'll open the style sheet so now you can see in the CSS I have imported this font with this property the name I have given to this font is DOSIS and this is the URL that I'm using for the font so it's good it's all good it's imported now so I'll just create another property I'll add this ID and I'll use the same property that I've used for the other text element make sure to add the ID sign over there so yeah It should work fine. You can do the rest of the clean cleanliness work. So if now when we open it and you can see this text is also using the custom font that I imported in my landing page. So you can repeat this for all the other text as well. If you have around three different fonts, then you can import those three different forms fonts into your landing page and it should be good enough the best thing about this code is you can use this code for any landing page platform so it's not restricted to unbounce but you can use the same code in any other landing page platform like click funnels insta page lead pages or any other you are using just remember one thing if you would like to use your own hosting to upload the custom font that you have make sure to use the code that I've shared in the website right it's this code that you will find in the website in unbouncehacks.com 
make sure to update your .htaccess file with this code only then your custom form will show up in your landing page. It may already be there but just to be on the safe side please do check your htaccess file and if you don't see this code then copy it from here from the website and upload it in your htaccess file and it should work fine then. I hope you like this video. If you find it helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more updates.